Hey guys, crazy out here back playing FTB episode 13 and I'm in the process of working on my lava power plant here with the thermal generators from Greg Tech and a couple MFSUs that are probably just about full. Yep, they are just about full. So this isn't complete. I want to do six more of these thermal generators. So I'm going to make six more of those. And of course, I'm going to make a couple more MFSUs just to have a little more power storage there. This isn't going to be used, the power, just yet. Of course, it's for future projects. But uh, of course, I want to get that out of the way. And yeah, it's it's being pumped. The lava is being pumped into these generators with the liquid ducts from uh, the thermal expansion mod. Here, I'll show you guys if I can pull those up here. These are really cool, actually. They are, yeah, they're definitely better than the build craft pipes. They're more expensive to make. You need to make this hardened glass. You need to use copper to make them. And the hardened glass is a bit of a pain because you need obsidian. But I've got quite a bit of obsidian now from the uh, quarries and, you know, just from future caving, or no, future caving, caving that I've done in the past. And it's also with a lead ingot in an induction smelter and you make this hardened glass and then of course you combine that with the copper and you get four liquid ducts. So it is pricey and I have that going into my tank here and I've actually changed the way that the tank uh, extracts the liquid. There used to be a redstone and engine here with the uh, just the Buildcraft waterproof pipes and now I've, I've slapped this in and you don't even need an engine with these liquid ducts which is really cool probably my favorite part about it. It also extracts the liquid much faster than you would with an engine in a buildcraft pipe. And you just need to put a lever like right next to wherever, you know, wherever you have it hooked up into. And of course you gotta play around with the output input. It's very similar to these things, the uh, redstone energy, oh God. <laughs> I should probably write this stuff down, seriously. Um, redstone, what is this stuff called here? A redstone energy conduit. Okay, yeah, so it's very similar. You use your, your crescent wrench and you just kind of change the output input. So that's pointing towards the tank. And of course, we want everything to come out of the, the tank. So we uh, make the arrow, little arrow pointing that way. And another cool thing is they do connect to the Buildcraft waterproof pipes, which is important, especially for my base, because I got tons and tons of Buildcraft pipes, which I'm going to change, I think. It's going to take me a long time, I think, to make these, but I want to roll with these liquid ducts all over my base. Expensive, yeah, but I don't really care. It looks cool, so I'm going to probably do that. Don't know if I'm going to squeeze that into this episode, because it's going to take me forever to do that so at some point I will do it though but yeah for now I can have them connected together which works and of course you're gonna have to hit the 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 build craft pipe with the crescent wrench so they do connect in order for that to work and of course you know you'll have to adjust the output input in there as well and yeah so other than that I got the liquid duct here underneath going under the tank and into that room right over there and that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna work on making six more i almost call them geothermals but they're called thermal generators so i'm gonna make six more of those and probably like i said bust out two more mfsus so yeah i'm gonna hit the project tables right now so i'll see you guys there all right guys i'm back at the lava power plant and i screwed up on the last little bit of recording so you didn't get to see me build these the mfsu and the thermal generators but I'll show you the recipe that I used for the geothermal, or not geothermal, again, I'm calling it geothermal, the, uh, this thing here, the thermal generator. Jeez, I am just something else today. So yeah, I used the electronic circuits. I used two of those, one on each side. 
and then you got the reinforced glass and i used the aluminum ingots versus the invar ingots i just had a whole bunch of aluminum ingots in my chest so i went with that and then the reinforced glass which is pretty simple to make it's just regular glass with advanced alloy and that gives you seven of those so i have some of that in my chest already as well and the mfsu yeah we've all built one of these laptron crystals advanced machine block and the mfe in the middle and yeah so let's set this up here i'm just gonna drop six more of these in real quick then i gotta connect those with some more liquid duck and they are not going to connect just yet to the lava i have to go in with the crescent wrench Just got a right mouse click with the crescent wrench, I believe. I just got to get up there. And they all connect when you just click on them, which is good. But I think one of them screws up. Screwed up there. Yeah, this happened last time in the last recording. Um, yeah, you see when I clicked on it, when I right mouse clicked on it, the arrow went up instead of down. So, you know, you just go back there and make sure that those arrows are not pointing up. On your thermal generators otherwise the lava is not going to go into them as you can see these ones are fine but then this one doesn't have lava just the right mouse click on that and it's good to go so yeah those are full of lava now i just have to pop in these mfes i'm gonna have to put in more glass fiber cabling here at the bottom hook these up and take my mfe mfsu sorry and kind of drop that in there and that's pretty much it let's see how fast they go they go yeah they go really quick right now so i think i'm gonna be fine with nine of these i don't think i'm ever gonna need more i mean it's just gonna be yeah i think these are just gonna be fine because i'm also gonna make another power plant probably next door that's going to be uh the biofuel power plant when i convert the biomass into biofuel and then use the some of the generators in Greg Tech. I think it's the diesel one that burns the biofuel. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. If not, you can correct me on that. And yeah, so it's going to be a similar room probably next door. And I'm, I might just do that uh, off camera. I don't know if I'll make an episode about it. Uh, I'll see. I might actually. But uh, right now, I'm just going to kind of tweak this a little bit the way it looks and just uh, make it look a little more snazzy and i'll be right back all right so i just kind of polished it up a little bit uh dug it down a couple steps here and then finish it off with some inverted lamps here at the bottom just to match the red of the the room the theme of the room and yeah i also tweaked the mfsus i have the outputs pointing all inward here that way i can just have one wire going down into the ground here and it's not really connected to anything because it's not going anywhere yet that's something i'll do later on like i said i will make uh probably a uu matter facility over here at some point and then that's where all this power is going to be used but yeah i'm gonna finish it off here with some iron tank gauge which is what i've been using for glass in my base pretty much everywhere in the floors here just because i like the way it looks in this texture pack it looks a lot like the hardened glass it has that gray look versus the regular glass with this fax which has like a wood kind of trim around it and i could use hardened glass but the big difference with this obviously is you can break it and pick it up which is huge because i do break things you know constantly i kind of rebuild and tweak things so i kind of like that feature i'm not sure if it's a good idea to use this as a building material but yeah i've been using it anyways so and it's pretty pricey to make too that's the thing it's way more pricey than making you know regular glass i mean you got to use these iron plates and stuff which need four iron ingots in the rolling machine to make three plates but there's tons and tons of of iron anyways in FDB, so i don't think it's that big of a deal plus i'm not really 
you know, in a hurry <laughs> with this, so it doesn't really bother me. But yeah, that's what I've been using. I kind of like the look. I was thinking of actually building it more underground so the, the glass would kind of go flush here, kind of like the recycling center. But after I put the glass in here, I kind of look, I kind of like the way it kind of looks with the lava. I definitely like these liquid duck things. I want to use them on all my base. <laughs> That's going to take me a long time to make, to replace all these. But yeah, other than that, there's a tweak that I'm going to do to this probably in the next episode is I'm going to make one of these tesseracts, which somebody had mentioned in a reply video. Actually, you can actually watch the video. There's two of them in the last episode. They're really good, you know, tips on uh, tips for they're really good tips for me anyways on my base and everything. So yeah, the item tesseract here and then the liquid tesseract and the energy tesseract. I'm actually going to use the liquid tesseract. So I'll build that in the next episode probably. And I'm going to use that to extract lava from the nether and then basically teleport it. That's basically what it does. It's kind of like a teleporter. It's going to teleport the lava to my tank. That way I don't really need to use these. I'll probably keep these here for now. I don't want to break those up. I think I just like the way it kind of looks with this this setup. I don't want to break that down. That would defeat the whole purpose of me uh, having biofuel going here too. So so I might still use that. I can also use cobblestone to make lava. I don't have to use netherrack. It's just netherrack is more efficient. But I'll also have somewhere on this tank where it will be fed with the tesseract and lava from the nether, which should be should be way faster. And as you can see already my tank is drawing you know drawing empty here pretty quickly with the uh the nine thermal generators but um yeah i think that's pretty much it for the power plant here in the lava and yeah i'm just gonna head over to the sorting facility and just guys to show you guys a couple other tweaks that uh that have been brought to my attention from that that reply video i mean this guy's giving me a quite a few good tips. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing over there. All right, so I'm down here at my sorting facility. I've done uh, some minor tweaks thanks to the reply video from uh, the user Sigmar Thumb that I had already mentioned. He was uh, pointing out that the timers actually play quite a number on your frame rates. They really they actually destroy your frame rates. I was getting really bad frame rates around my base. I had two of these set up. I had this one over here set up super, super fast. And I had frame rates of below 30, which, you know, sucks for recording videos. You want to stay at that 30 rate. So, yeah, he told me to, you know, get rid of that and go with the sorting machines to extract the items out of the chests or out of the ender chests, which extract extract items really, really fast by stack, actually. So let me just grab something here and show you guys how I have this set up. By default, you use this thing here. This button by default i believe the sorting machine will be set up to this i don't know how to describe that it looks like kind of a circle red circle with a line through it with an arrow sticking out so that's uh, that's how i'm going to describe it i wish there was actually a little bit of a text that would tell me what that is but um the system i'm going to go with here is i just click it once and it produces this little icon here which is like a yellow dot with uh a circle of arrows around it and that's the setup you want and that will pull items out really really quickly basically if we take a look at my quarry everything's being you know extracted super quick and if i just drop a stack in there or not a stack but 21 items you you can see it just gets sucked out really quickly so that's really awesome that allows me to have multiple quarries or it allows me to have a really fast quarry i mean it's it's a way way better way of uh extracting the items out of uh, a chest for a sorting facility, especially for a sorting facility. So yeah, you just gotta make sure you plug that into your uh, Blutricity here. And yeah, that's how I got that rolling. So yeah, thanks a lot for that reply uh, video. Uh, merci beaucoup, monsieur. I'm sure you'll understand that. He is French, so yeah, merci beaucoup. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much going to be it for this episode um as always guys thanks for watching i've been getting uh some comments to make some more videos faster updates uh i'm i'm gonna try guys but i mean it's it's a time issue for me it's not that i don't want to i really like making videos it's awesome 
but uh, you know you know how it is uh, work and everything and all the other stuff that we deal with in life it kind of cuts into the time but uh, yeah I'll try to bust out some more updates I'll see if I can I can't guarantee anything guys but um, yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys next time later